Alaminopio by Harriet Ziefert, illustrated by Donald Safe. My name is Alaminopio. If you don't know how to say my name, just read these letters. L, M, N, O, P, O. I may look like an ordinary cat, but I'm not. I always have to get up early and eat breakfast. Today, I'm having a bagel with lox and cream cheese. After I eat, I let myself out of the house through my own special door. I like being free to come and go as I please. I take a quick walk around the yard to be sure no bad guys have wandered in. Then, I'm ready for bird watching. I'm smart. I know names of lots of different ones like Finch, Grackle, and Blue Jay. I try to get the birds to play hide and seek. Hey, don't fly away, I cry. I'm just playing. It's a game. But the birds don't believe me. Instead of eating lunch, I take a nap. I dream of flying. In the afternoon, a cat friend usually comes by and we play cat games. Sometimes, if I'm unlucky, a mean dog tries to get me, but I know how to escape through the cat door and back into the house. I am an orderly cat. I like the sameness of my days. Outside every morning for hours in the garden with the birds, but today is different. My special door is shut, closed for repairs. I can't open it, I can't go out. I don't know what to do. I feel cooped up. I prowl from room to room, looking for something interesting. Then I see an easel and a box of paints. I put on a smock. I dip my paw into blue. I get my brush and palette, and I begin. I could paint a tree, or a house, or a flower, or a bagel, or a mean dog, but I won't. I'd rather paint a picture of myself. Me, Elemento Pio, with wings. Then I step back to look at my picture. Wow, it's good. I like it. I'm an artist. I sign my name big. If anyone wants to know, I'll tell them the title. Portrait of the Artist as a Young Bird. Painting a large picture can make a small cat tired. I need to rest. So I'm going to curl up and dream. All right, we just finished reading Elemento Pio. Um, this is this fun story about this cat who um, is kind of gets stuck inside one day and so decides that they're going to um, become an artist. And so they get their painting smock on, they get their paw, their paw dipped into blue paint, they get the easel set up, and then they start drawing a painting. And look, this is how fun, this is what the painting ended up looking like. Um, and the kitty in this book was pretending that they could fly. So, we haven't done a lot of story time, a lot of art, to, um, art tales using paint. But I've had some people say, hey, could you do an example, do a demonstration with some paint? So this is something you could do at home. Don't need a lot of special supplies. I have a little bowl of water. I use that for my brush. Um, I have just like cardstock, and we've talked about this before. If you don't have heavy paper, you could even paint on uh, cardboard. You could take a cereal box or macaroni and cheese box. Cut it up, turn it inside out. It's all blank inside. The back might have a design on it, but the inside is gonna be a, maybe this color or kind of a brown. Um, I'm using a piece of graphite to draw my outline, um, but you could use a pencil if you wanted. And we're gonna do something called a wash. And a wash is, um, and you can see these are not new paints. Look, these are very loved. But a wash is where I have my design already on the paper, and then I come in and just add really gently a little bit of layer of color. So um, I have a choice when I'm starting off. I can have my paper horizontal or vertical. 
And I think I'm gonna keep mine horizontal, and I like the idea of that kitty that's flying, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start with the kitty's head, and there's the ears, and a nice kitty nose. And I think it always, this could look like, at this point, maybe it's a dog, but I'm gonna give it those big whiskers. That's what's gonna set that off as a cat. I'm gonna make its eyes bigger. Um, and I like eyelashes too. Okay, and because my kitty's flying, I'm gonna have the body kind of going sideways and, and maybe have the kitty little, there's kitty paws. That'd be fun if you could fly, wouldn't it? And I'm gonna have my kitty wing. There's a wing there, and let's have a wing here. All right, that's just my outline, and you could do that with pencil. Now I'm gonna come in and do my wash. And I think I want to have my kitty having his little smock on, his jacket. So that's where the wing's kind of in front of it. There's kind of the lines for my wing. Um, and I'm gonna come back. So let's see how we can do this. All right, I'm gonna get, I hope everybody can see this, okay. I'm gonna get my brush wet, but I don't want it like sopping wet. So I'm gonna kind of, tip that off on the side, or even like I'm painting on paper, I could even come over and just kind of dab my brush, because I just want it damp, but not super, super wet. The cat in the book had a blue smock on, so I'm gonna get in here, and again, I don't, you don't want it really soupy, because you just want that kind of, you have to get it a little bit wet so that it's gonna stick, but I don't want there to be tons of water, or tons of liquid in there. So I'm looking at my brush, that looks, that looks pretty, not too drippy. All right, now I'm gonna come and look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna see if I can get this to last for the whole jacket. Just this little watercolor. I'm not gonna paint that wing because I want the wing to show. And the thing that's kind of cool about this is you're gonna get this variety in the color where it's going to be dark in some places and light in some others. Uh, I'm going to do his little sleeve just to make sure that we know that's a sleeve. I better draw that cuff on there. I can even like get my brush wet again, dry it off and keep coming and keep grabbing some of that blue. It's not drippy. All right, and let's see. How about if my cat, like the cat in the book, is black and white, so there's some spots. So I'm gonna draw some kind of spots on the cat, and this is gonna be his face. Um, and I like that cat has like these little triangles inside where they're pink ears. So maybe I'll do the ears first. Then I'm going to come do some of that black. You can, I don't know if you can see me if this is in range, but you can even hold the, your water. And if you feel like it's too wet, you can even take your fingers and squeeze it a little bit. Because I just want it damp. I don't want it drippy wet. All right, so to get pink, I'm going to use this red. And those inside of those ears is pretty tiny. So I'm just going to kind of very gently... Do a little wash in there. Cool, all right, clean my brush off, get all that water off, and now I'm gonna come back and do the part of the kitty that is. The kitty has black. Or actually kind of, it's almost gonna look kind of a grayish color. And when you're doing this, it's so light that see where I've drawn, that stuff is still gonna show. Some cats that have markings like this, it almost looks like they have a little mask on. I'm gonna get the rest of the ears. And notice I'm not dipping my brush back in to get the paint, I'm just, all right. And then let me come do some of these spots. 
If it's looking too gray and you want it to be darker, you can dip in there a little bit. But I don't want it to look too much like just solid paint, so I'm going to get this wet again too. that one a little bit darker. There's some of his spots. All right. Um, if I wanted to come back too, I could make a little emphasis on some of the lines. Um, maybe like an outline of the wing. is a fun way to have some paint on here, kind of mixing the paint with the drawing. Um, and I like how that kind of is that dark line. I'm gonna kind of go over that. With, I like how that looks. The top of his little jacket. I could even uh, kind of make the eyelashes more exaggerated if I wanted. This is fun. You can see you don't want to quit. You want to keep going. <laughs> but last thing, we always sign our name. Um, also, I'm going to do a little bit on the sleeve there. Cool. All right. Um, always want to sign our name. And so I'm just, this is going to get one more line there. All right. We always put our name down here, traditionally in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and I would write my name right there. So have fun with that. You can paint whatever you want if you want to do. I just thought it'd be fun to do a cat from the book. If you wanted to do uh, a dog or another animal or a person, um, that would be really fun. So good luck with that. <laughs>